Welcome to Mobile Application Tutorials. My name's Nigel. In this Flutter development tutorial, we're going to show you how you can create a stateful widget. Basically, a stateful widget is one whose properties can be changed or rewritten. Think of it as being dynamic that involves user interaction. So a little bit different from the stateless widget, which was the Hello World, where you couldn't actually make any changes to its properties. Anyway, so I have put together a bit of an article here as well. If you just want to follow that, as you can see, the code is in there. And you can get the code from GitHub. Once I've uploaded it, I will put the details of how you can get the code just to start this particular episode. Anyway, we will make a start. So we'll move across to our Android Studio. And what we want to do is to create a stateless widget class first, subclass. So use the class keyword, and we're going to call this actually random words. It's going to be a subclass, so we use the extends keyword, and we're going to extend from the stateful widget there. Put some closing curly braces there. Okay, we do need to implement a method there. So I'm going to press Alt Enter on a Mac and just complete that. So when when you basically, if you want to create a stateful widget, random words itself is stateless. You can't change the contents, but it's the create state function which will create what's called immutable state to your widget. So that widget's properties will be able to be rewritten. So what I'm going to do here, I'm just going to leave the code here. I'm not going to use a single line a line because we've just generated this from the IDE. So I'll keep it there. So we're just going to have a return and we're going to create a new class here and we'll call this random words and we'll call it state. It's going to derive off the state class. So now we will need to create that class. And it's going to be the random words state. And again, a key where it's going to extend, it's going to subclass the state, the state class, and it takes a type. So the type we're going to put in here is that type of random words. And curly braces to close that. And we'll need to implement the method. So I'll enter on a Mac, create one missing overrides and basically this is going to return our uh, widget, our mutable widget where we can actually change its properties. Now we're going to create a, a variable just for our word pairs. I'll call the word pair and we're going to actually have to create a um, an instance of the word pair first and then we can call word pair random. So this is doing two things here this if you're new to programming we're creating an instance of the WordPress class and then we're calling the random function here to generate us a word pair and now we can return the widget so we'll call the return keyword and we'll, it's going to be a new text widget and inside there we can call our word pairs as past all case, so make the start of each word uppercase and put a semicolon at the end of there. Okay, so that's the random words are now created. So now we just need to call random words itself. So we'll do that inside the Hello World class. So basically, we're just going to replace the child here. Should be fine. Just need to get rid of the comment now. So I'll call the child keyword and we just need to create the new random words there. Okay, so briefly to summarize, we're calling the random words class there and that's basically creating us a subclass of the stateful widget. Stateful, the, the random words class itself is mutable, but what it does is it can create classes that are given a mutable state which is what happens when we call the create function there. And we also do need to subclass the state random words, uh, random word state 
set up a class for that. And here's where we get generate our widget, our mutable widget from where we can write the code to. Okay, so I'm just gonna drag the emulator across into the display here and we'll just run this to check to see if that works. And as you can see, the applications are now started, brown search. And if I just do a command S, it will initiate a hot reload. And it's changed again. And we'll do a hot reload again. It takes about a second for these hot reloads to take place just to refresh it UI. And so that does conclude the uh, state for widget episode, flutter episode. So the key points here is you do need to create two classes, one class subclass the uh, state for widget first, and inside you need to call the create state method, which will, by calling the create state, it will set up a uh, mutable state for your your class. And then it's creating a secondary class off that uh, state. And from there, you can set up all your changeable, writable, or make your um, widgets and properties dynamic underneath. So remember, it's two steps to implement stateful widgets as we just demonstrated below. Anyway, so that completes this tutorial. If you do want to get notified of the tutorials I'm working on, don't forget to click on that subscribe button. And also I do have Twitter and Facebook accounts. So I will leave my handle above there. If you've got any questions for me, I don't normally respond to YouTube. Just don't have a chance with the avalanche of questions that come through. I just want to put out content. But I do set up, I do have a Code Mentor account where I'm quite happy to teach people or help people out. And there'll be a link above there. And please note that is for paid support. Anyway, thank you for taking the time for watching this one. Bye for now.